Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncrate our favorite full face helmets for V-Twin riders. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before I jump in and give you the full download on all of our favorite full face helmets for you V-Twin riders, do me a favor and subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That makes sure you don't miss out on any of the latest gear reviews coming from us here at speedaddicts.com. And if you decide you'd like to purchase any of these helmets that we're gonna show you today, we make it real easy. There's a link in the description below. They'll get you right over to speedaddicts.com. You can purchase one of these helmets, shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. So we've noticed an interesting trend over the last few years. A lot more of our V-Twin and Cruiser customers are opting for full face protection. In my book, that's a great uh, choice that they're making. A majority of impacts do happen in this area. So it makes sense to have that full face chin bar protection as opposed to a beanie or nothing at all. And so there's a few helmets that stand out to us. They have the look, they complete that V-Twin attitude and they are here today. We have five of them. And we're gonna give you that full breakdown. Now, this by no means means you have to have a V-Twin to, to wear one of these helmets. They're also known as Street Fighter. Anyone that's looking for a full face helmet with attitude will definitely dig this video. Stay tuned and we're gonna break them all down for you right now. First up on our list, we have Simpson motorcycle helmets. Now, at the moment, Simpson's making five different motorcycle helmets. This is the legendary Simpson that started uh, in drag racing and the weapon of choice at the moment for most of our Harley Davidson riders. And the reason is it's got that Simpson attitude, it's got that Simpson DNA, that unmistakable front end muzzle with the gill vents here. Now the reason I picked the Ghost Bandit, which is one of their more expensive helmets, as opposed to maybe the Speed Bandit, which is less expensive, but polycarbonate, is that the Ghost Bandit I think is their most polished helmet to date, whereas maybe some of those other ones we're not quite up to the level of most modern motorcycle helmets out there at the moment. The interior on this, the cheek pads, the comfort liner, it's DOT, ECE rated, the shield mechanism, the seal, the way it seals and keeps air out. It's got the interior drop down sun visor. These are all things that you would come to expect on a premium priced motorcycle helmet from other brands. And Simpson really stepped up their game when it came to the Ghost Bandit. This is a composite shell construction. It's gonna run you about $550. So not necessarily cheap. If you have a lower budget, stick in this video. We're gonna to get to some more affordable helmets that might suit your fancy. But this one, composite, 550. Now they also have the full carbon fiber shell, which is just gorgeous. It's gonna run you about $760. So if you want that authenticity that Simpson brings, that Simpson look, the Ghost Bandit is our pick. Uh, it's gonna be about three pounds, seven ounces, so relatively lightweight because it has that composite shell. It is comm system ready and you're gonna see sizes extra small through two extra large. So now, now that we're talking about fit, I wanna remind you, you should not be shopping anywhere else for your helmets, folks. You should be shopping at speedaddicts.com because we have no cost returns. If you have any issues with fit or you just decide the helmet's not for you, a couple of clicks, as long as you live in the lower 48 states, you're gonna get a free return label to send it back exchange it, uh, get a refund, whatever you need to do. Give us a shot on helmets and we will treat you like family. Perhaps you're looking for something with a little bit more bling, then I would recommend checking out the Icon Domain. So this is a brand new helmet. The Freaks Out of Portland bringing their A game as usual. They've got insane graphics like the Lucky here. They've got solids. This is like Ant-Man meets Silver Surfer. Huge eye port, definitely that Street Fire look with a little bit of vintage throwback on the grill here, but still modern. And uh, the cool thing about the Icon Domain, relatively affordable, okay? So it's gonna start at 295 for a matte black stripped down version, clear visor. If you step up to the graphics or some of their signature solids, you're gonna pay 350, but you're gonna get an extra lens. So it's gonna come with a clear on it, as well as either an iridium or smoke. When you're shopping for the domain, I recommend shopping by picture. We usually don't recommend that, but the way they're photoed at speedaddicts.com is the way that they're gonna come. So if you see it with that Iridium Shield, it's gonna come with that one installed plus a clear in the box. So pretty awesome value. Now, the other cool thing about the domain, because it's brand new for this year, it is uh, up to the EC, it is, it was made to the ECE 2206 homologation standards. That's the European standard. It's all new for this year. A lot of the manufacturers are upping their safety game. So it's ECE 2206 certified, very cool. A few other things I like about the Icon Domain is it's a little bit more forgiving in the cheek area. If you've tried the Icon Air Flight in the past and it really squeezed you, the opening and cheek pads are more forgiving. You're gonna like the fit of this a little bit better. Okay, so 
really cool design. It ventilates great. The EPS is channeled three shell sizes, extra small, all the way up to three extra large. So those larger heads are not left out. Uh, another thing I like about this icon is that it has integrated Bluetooth, but it's not in your face about it. So these ports back here that you barely notice, these doors actually come off on both sides. And then they've got a door in the back to install the Helm Link that is made by Senna. It's icon branded. It also runs you about $350. Not cheap, but it is a Senna 50 series equivalent. So it's the best of the best. Now, if you don't wanna run the icon Helm Link system, the speaker pockets can be used for any comm system you might already have. And the install is easy because it's nice and flush and flat here on the chin bar. So very cool option, brand new. It is the icon domain. Next up and arguably one of the best values in this entire video is going to be the brand new Scorpion Exo Cover FX. Yes, that is a mouthful and they're bringing a lot for your hard earned money here. So this helmet, is going to retail for 249. It is composite. That is unusual to see a composite helmet at this price range. Usually they start as you close in on $200, they start to change to polycarbonate, which is less expensive. Not here. You get a composite shell. You're getting DOT and ECE 2206 certification. Again, this helmet's brand new for this year, so it's built to those latest safety standards. You are also getting a free smoke shield as well as a clear shield in the box. So not one, but two shields. Again, three, four, uh, 249, that just doesn't happen. The styling, attitude, it is great looking. It kind of is borrowing from some of the DNA from the Covert X series. We've sold a ton of the Covert X uh, helmets over the years, very well received helmet, but it is a, that helmet is a removable chin bar and that chin bar does not provide crash uh, protection like this full face Covert FX. So we're really stoked that they rolled this out. You're gonna get more protection, all the same attitude, the latest technology, the extra shield. It is also comm system ready. They didn't go with integrated comms though. They expect you to either purchase one on your own or you already have one that you like and they're gonna make it really easy to install. You notice that they left this, um, you have the swoop here, which looks good, but they've left this panel to install your comm system very easily. And inside the Covert FX, you have 50 millimeter speaker pockets. So will fit even the largest speakers. Uh, I think at the moment, 44 millimeter, maybe from the Cardo Pack Talk Black, no problems, plugs right in, you'll be dialed. Three shell sizes, extra small through three extra large. Uh, our team really likes this helmet. It's probably gonna be one of the top sellers this year. It is the Scorpion XO Covert FX. Perhaps you're looking for something a little bit more vintage. I would recommend the Biltwell Lane Splitter. This has still got that drag vibe. It's got the attitude, but in a more classic package, a little bit more stripped down, not only in the interior, but the shape. It's that classic spherical design. Now, the reason I like Biltwell is really that their, their paint is just killer. They always have the best colors. They're coming out with new stuff all the time. They've got pearl, they got collabs, uh, really cool looking stuff. I honestly think the helmet's a bit overpriced considering it is polycarbonate and it's running about 249 for the solids. I'd like to see that come down a little bit compared to some of these other helmets out here, but it's got the look. It's very comfortable, nice place to be. It's gonna run three pounds, seven ounces in a size large. You have DOT. Uh, I'm not sure the ECE status going into this year. Uh, they're probably going to update that at the moment. The lane splitters we have are 2205. We'll look to see what happens next. Size range, extra small through two extra large. If you have a built well, you know, there's a lot of the, the bonanzas. They have the open face. They go for that classic look and design and they are just unmistakably built well. You can get them all at speedaddicts.com. And while we're talking about the built well, remember, if you wanna see the full in-depth review of any of the helmets that we're talking about today, those links will be in the description below. Last but certainly not least on our list is the LS2 Street Fighter. Definitely more modern, but still looks killer on a V-twin machine. This is the matte black, of course. Now, one of the best things about the Street Fighter is the price at 169. It's gonna be easy on the wallet, but uh, LS2 doesn't skimp. I think they should change their slogan from always ahead to get more than what you pay for, because that's what they're all about. You're getting big ventilation, and one of the most unique things about this helmet, other than the eye port and shield design, which is very cool, is the shell construction. They're using their proprietary kinetic polymer alloy material. And basically what that is, is it is a polycarbonate material like plastic, 
but it's impregnated with aramid fibers. So you're getting kind of the best of both worlds between a composite when it comes to that puncture protection, but you're getting the low coefficient of friction and the slide should you hit the asphalt of polycarbonate. Really cool, really unique, something only that LS2 has. The helmet is both DOT and Snell. It's very lightweight running just about uh, three pounds, kind of right on that mark. Two shell sizes, extra small through two extra large. If you're looking for a good V-twin lid and you're on a budget, you wanna spend less than 200 bucks, check out the LS2 Street Fighter. That does it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this buying guide. If you do wanna see those in-depth videos, again, the links are in the description below to either see those videos or shop for any of the helmets we checked out here today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.